Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy Ricky He. If you've been liking my live streams, my short videos, and my videos, I will be uploading gameplay soon when I can get me a PC to do it. Please do me one thing. Please hit the subscribe button. Ring uh, Turn the notifications on. Ring the bell and all that good stuff. And share this with your friends. And tell everybody you love them. Right, now. Um. Okay. Now what we was talking about. We was talking about. Ah. Cartoon Network. Do let me know in the comments below what y'all's opinions are, what I'm about to talk about. Alright. So, back in the day, you had really good shows on Cartoon Network. Okay. Which ones would y'all want to see with new episodes here in the year 2023 going into 2024? Alright. I tell you, there's a like Dex's Laboratory, the Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Teen Titans. And I'm not talking about Teen Titans Go. Alright. Uh, what else? The, what else? Let me know. Being 10. Imagine if they would have never ended any of those shows. And they brought them to this year. Kept it going. What, new, what do you think they would look like today? And how would it be presented? Eddie, Eddie, and Eddie. See, back in the day, you had good shows. The ones I just named off. You look at today, these shows only last 15 minutes. Alright? I don't know what happened. Those shows were the golden ages, I believe. They stayed on for about 30 minutes long. Nowadays, they don't even last that long. Okay? In y'all's opinion, what do you think? They would have kept those shows going. What do you think they would look like today? You had like Camp Lazlo. You had other new shows I can't think of on top of my head. To me personally, they should have never even uh, ended those shows the way they did. Like Ed, Ed and Eddie, they came on what was it, 1999, 1998, and they lasted all the way to what, 2006, 2007, and then they did a movie of it. They did exactly the same thing with Teen Titans from 2003 all the way to what was it, 2005, 2006, and then a movie. Uh, Trouble Titans, Trouble in Tokyo. They never did finish the next season like they were supposed to have. They just decided it was time to end the show and never brought the show back. I even got in a Totally Spies, which I heard Totally Spies is returning back on Cartoon Network next year in 2024. None of those shows that I named off had a lot of span. And I'm not talking about Teen Titans Go. That ain't the OG. Alright. You look at it now, and it's like unreal what they have done to Cartoon Network. Even Looney Tunes, man. Looney Tunes, where Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck live together. They lasted, what, for about three, four seasons? And what happened? They ended the show. And they never brought it back. 
And that was the best thing in cartoon show back then. Alright, you had like Ben 10. What would happen if they would have kept that on and not like changed up different years? If they would have just kept where Ben 10 got older and stuff and not reboot the show. Alright. I don't understand why do they do that? Change it now. They need to get back to the basics. Back to what it once was. Get people back into it. Because as of right now, it's just... Who would want to sit there... Excuse me, by the way. Who would want to sit there and watch, like, 15 minutes? And then, boom, it goes off and goes to another show that lasts on for 15 minutes. I mean, get y'all's heads out y'all's ass and bring back our shows. The shows I named off by like Johnny Bravo and them, they never stayed on for a long time. Only show that did come back was what? The Powerpuff Girls. They came back. I would just see what Karen was doing. <laughs> okay. Now. It's ridiculous. I don't I just don't understand what 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 the hell they're doing, what the fuck they're doing. Get y'all's heads back in the game. We want our shows back, Cartoon Network. Quit thinking about yourselves. Or whatever whatever y'all do and, and quit getting your twiddling your thumbs up y'all's keisters. I don't understand why they are doing what they're doing, but I can tell you right off the bat that um I like Cartoon Network, but I just ain't got time where they are um, making it less interesting. I'm more like trying to uh, force kids to learn stuff on these shows that they don't need to be learning right now. I'm not disgusting about that. But y'all already know what what, what, what is being talked about on those cartoon shows that kids should not be even knowing about. It's supposed to be where growing up watching these shows. i tell you what. Now. Hold on a minute. I'm going to have to get me a gaming chair eventually. When I start... But uploading gameplays and live streaming stuff for y'all. I tell you what. Shows like We Bear Bears, now that was a good show. But what they did was rebooted it to where they're just babies. I did not like that. That was probably like the last show that stayed on for 30 minutes long. Another show I liked was the regular show. Mordecai and Rigby Benson. Man. <laughs> well, I'm going to say this. These shows were legendary. Even Looney Tunes. Well, Bags Bunny and Bat Daffy Duck live together. I, I like that, man. It's just, it's just, they need to, like, think about this, though. If you want to bring back people who grew up around those shows, you need to bring them back again. Leave them on longer than an hour, uh, 15 minutes. And don't 
ever remove these shows again. I mean, it's not good to do so. I mean, I would stick with Cartoon Network. But the way they're going right now, I just don't know. Like, they need to bring back, like, Pokemon. Get this charge. I am a Pokemon fan. Just I haven't watched Pokemon in a long time. Because I don't even know where they're at nowadays. Maybe one day we'll do like a Pokemon opening on here and check out cards. Rather on a video or on a live stream. So, without further ado, I'm just going to say this, that um, the shows that I miss on Cartoon Network, they should have lasted longer than what, just a span of time, a few years or whatnot. Chowder didn't last very long. Um, Misadventures of Flapjack didn't last very long. Uh, uh, Adventure Time of Finn and Jake lasted for several years, I'll say. They ain't no shows on Cartoon Network lasted for several dang years that I'm aware of. I don't see it. I mean, Scooby-Doo, yes. Scooby-Doo will be going on for a long time. Because they've been around since the 60s. I just want our shows to be coming back. Forget about these other new shows right now. Bring it back to classic shows are more important. But if you look at like 5 o'clock p.m., you got Dex's Laboratory. 5.30, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. 6 o'clock, Grim's Adventures of Bill and Mandy. At 6.30, Curse of Cowardly Dog. Imagine Adult Swim brought them back with new episodes. Let's think about that for a while. So please let me know in the comments below what your opinions are, what shows, other shows I was missing that I didn't bring up and what you think it would look like as of this year going into 2024 what it would look like if they would have kept them going for several years and what would it look like about Pokemon which we'll talk about that some other time and I'll catch you all on the next one bye bye